Hello. Hiya. And welcome to episode eight of the Orkney series. We're back in Stromness this week, um, but we're not going to be concentrating on Stromness this time. We're going to be looking at the island that's lying just behind Gina and I, which is the island of Grahamsey. Grahamsey is situated just in front of Hoy. And uh, yeah, you can actually see some of the hills of Hoy just behind it. Of course, many of Orkney's great tunes come from the smaller isles, not just the mainland. As much as we would love to go and visit all of them. All of them. All 70 plus. <laughs> um, our budget can't stretch to that. Unfortunately not. So we're going to give you a look at Grahamsey from afar today because it's nice and close to the mainland. So the tune we're going to play for you today is a fantastic hornpipe written by Len Wilson. Now, Len's parents both came from Grahamsey and his grandparents lived there. On Grahamsey, you can see that there's two lighthouses. We'll span round so you can see that. This is Low Hoy. Low Hoy. And round here dun, 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 dun. is the big one. You can see Hi Hoy. From his home in Stromness, growing up, Len used to look across the water and refer to these two lighthouses as Granny's Candles. <laughs> and I was, I think it's just lovely, it's literally. Lovely. And I was speaking to Len um, the other day and he actually said he would have to write a new tune and uh, call it Granny's Candles. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to playing that, yeah, aren't we? Another good one. But meanwhile, we're gonna stick on today's topic and the name of Len's tune that we're playing for you today is known as the Hattie Man Audrey. There's a peculiar rock on Grahamsey very strange. Yeah, which looks like a man with a bonnet on his head, which is a hat to anybody who's not familiar with a bonnet. And uh, it's called the Hattie Man of Ree. And it's actually comes from a folklore tale. Orkney's full of folklore. But this comes from a folklore tale which Len's brother, Bryce, um, heard a version of from George Marwick of Yesnaby. So the story goes that there was a mad, crazy man from Hoy. And Is there any other kind? <laughs> I hope so. Maybe one or two. We've met a few. And uh, he came over to Grahamsey and his plan was to kill and destroy and uh, yeah, nice man. Shocking. <laughs> However, he got what was coming to him because when he stepped foot on the island, he turned to stone. The happy men of Ree ran away for hoy, to rob and destroy, to spoil one pure story and pet a wa were starry men. But he was turned to a stain, and had to bide him lane, o oh, the hatty men of Ree, that ran a waff of hoy, to rob and destroy, and Emma's Ed was on him, the hatty men of Ree, the witless boy. That's lovely there to hear um, the poem in Orcadian dialect. I'm sure you understood every single <laughs> word. Yeah. There's a few we had to look up as well, so don't <laughs> worry. We're going to move on now and play you the tune which Len wrote, The Hattie Man O'Ree, fantastic hornpipe. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 